my name is Jonah Meyerberg. Um, this is Rick Fullup, co-founders of Desktop Metal, and yeah. we are showing our products uh, for the very first time. One of the really exciting things that we're bringing is the ability for the first time to have metal printing in an office environment. So no need for permits, no need for safety equipment. It's, the metal is all encapsulated in a, in a polymer, so it's very safe to use. And then you can print it in your office and then center it right there, and the next day you've got, it's like Christmas, you've got parts. We didn't want to launch just a printer, we wanted to launch a system. Uh, and the, the centering furnace is a critical part of the system, and so we need to offer it together. And the two, the printer and the centering furnace, they talk to each other, they know what part they're making. Uh, the furnace knows what was printed and uh, knows how to center. We built the software from scratch, uh, from the ground up, uh, starting with the slicer. Uh, so we know how to orient the part to support it, to put the, our, our interface layer in between the support and the part, and how it will best center. Uh, so everything is designed around the final product. It, it, it'll, it'll take care of any auto scaling in order to have a part with the, with the near net features that you have. We're able to achieve two thousandths of an inch for every inch. Yeah. So pretty good tolerances. And you know, you select the different materials in the software, whether it's from Molly or 316 or 174 or copper or et cetera, in Connell. And then uh, the furnace will auto program itself based on the load that it's going to receive, the type of material, the target microstructure you want at the end, and uh, you get parts. One of, one of the exciting parts about this technology is the ability to eliminate the support removal process that has really plagued the MLS, the MLM, and SLM. Uh, our process allows you to remove the supports by hand. That's like a new thing that never existed before, and so it's a big deal. And you have a ceramic, you have an interface layer that gets printed in the part, and that part, that interface becomes sand after the after the sintering.